Right now, a search is underway for a gunman who killed two people at a house party in East County. Sheriff's deputies went to the home in Harbison Canyon just before two this morning in unincorporated El Cajon. CBS 8's Rocio de la Fe has the latest on the investigation. Investigators are combing through the evidence to try to determine what exactly led to that deadly shooting. I spoke to one neighbor who says he believes the tragedy could have been avoided. The kids were so young. The San Diego County Sheriff's Department is investigating a large house party that ended early Thursday morning with two men shot to death. This is video taken from inside the home before the night took a turn for the worst. I just heard some, you know, kids walking down the street and I was wondering what was going on. Sammy Benjamin lives nearby and says he saw a lot of cars go through the typically quiet area. Next thing I know, I hear sirens and, you know, emergency vehicles going up the hill. Once on scene, deputies say dozens of people were leaving the area, some walking, others by car. Inside the home, investigators say they found a 20-year-old man shot multiple times. He was rushed to the hospital where he later died. Another man, also suffering from gunshot wounds, died on scene. One neighbor who didn't want to be identified tells me he believes there were more than 200 people inside the home at the time of the party. He tells me he first became worried when cars started to block his driveway, so he called the sheriff's department at around 10 p.m. He was told a deputy would go out, but he says they never showed. He called again at around midnight, worried that someone would get into a crash given that the road is dark and up a steep hill and many of the people he saw were under the influence. He says even then, no deputy ever showed up. They ultimately came after the shooting. He tells me it made me feel sad and frustrated because I think that the situation could have been prevented if they would have shown up when I called. He also says just three weeks ago, another large party was held at the same property. He says at that time he also called deputies because a fight had broken out. Deputies did respond at the time. Today we found the home listed as a vacation rental on a couple websites, including Airbnb, but it's unclear if it was booked at the time of the shooting. I reached out to the company but never heard back. <laughs> the party was advertised on social media. This flyer shows tickets going for $25. Admission tickets to the party were even sold on the campus of Education First International Language Centers in Liberty Station. In a statement, the school says the party was not affiliated with the school, but did confirm that some of its students did attend. It adds, we have strong policies in place to guide appropriate student behavior, and we will initiate disciplinary measures where appropriate. Neighbors I spoke to say they're in disbelief Relief after what happened. You know, it was unexpected and sad to see that, uh, you know, life was lost. They're hoping whoever's responsible will turn themselves in. Anyone with information about the shooting is asked to contact the sheriff's office or Crime Stoppers. Rocio de la Fe, CBS 8.